Hello beauty therapists. I hope you're all well. In today's video, I'm really excited to be sharing with you the Beauty Boss Planner by Beauty Business Co. Oh, I can't wait. Isn't it just beautiful? So this is going to be my full review talking about what's what's the planner actually like? What are my thoughts? And I'm going to actually give you a little bit of a look through. So before I get into that, I'd like to just introduce you, um, sorry, introduce myself if you didn't know me already. So my name is Kathleen and you might already know me if you're watching this live in the Beauty Therapist of Australia Facebook group. Um, but if you're watching the replay over on YouTube, hello, welcome. I'm a beauty therapist who specializes in skin and corneotherapy and remedial massage. And I own a clinic here in Adelaide, but what I really, really love to do is uh, share information and blog and educate in the realm of beauty therapy. So I love doing these videos and I wanted to create this video to share with you what this beautiful industry specific planner is all about. Because from what I am aware, I have not seen anything like this before. And as a beauty business owner, which this is really created for, you really have to take planning seriously. Take it from me. I'm new to business and I'm realizing the more and more I get busier um, as I kind of start to really build up my business, planning is key. So what better way to do it than with an industry specific planner? Now, before we get into this, I do need to let you know a couple of little things. So first of all, if you can hear me, please let me know. I'd hate to record this without <laughs> proper sound, so let me know down below. And if you are watching, please comment, let me know your name and where in Australia you are right now. Do you own a beauty business and do you work as a beauty therapist? I'd love to hear from you. And the second thing is to let you all know, I'm just going to turn my phone off vibrate. It's there we go. We're good. <laughs> and I also have to let you know that this video is not sponsored or endorsed in any way. Angela did send me a copy of this. Um, which I'm so grateful for, but she did not send it to me uh, with anything, asking for anything in return. She didn't want me to do a review. She just sent it to me. Um, so I'm super grateful. And there's not really um, any reason for me to, I guess, embellish. <laughs> so that's just my honesty there. And also, if you're watching this hoping for some negative critiquing or negativity at all you're probably not going to get that because i am genuinely really excited about this and i am a big fan um but i will be talking about my little critiques as we go as things just aren't always perfect for every single person involved so thank you for listening through that let's get into it so just to quickly run down this is a planner for the beauty therapist and the cool thing about it that i'm really loving is it's not it's not a 2019 or a 2020 planner. It, you can actually just purchase this from what I'm aware at any time of the year and you can kind of start because you can enter your own date. So let's just open it up. I love the packaging. When I received this, I was just like, oh, I don't want to open it. It's so pretty. <laughs> um, but it did come with a whole heap of free gifts. Uh, what else? There was like a mask. There was a couple of little things. There was an unboxing uh prize there was a whole heap of things so i really loved that but this is the main bulk of it so let's open it up together makes it really special when it comes in a box <laughs> so this is the beauty business planner and it does come with this lovely rose gold pen and this is the planner so let's open it up it came wrapped in oh, don't like that noise <laughs> Um, it came in this beautiful wrapped paper and this little note that just said thank you. So it was a really sweet message from Angela. But essentially, this Beauty Boss Planner, again, it was made specifically for the beauty business owner. And to give you like a really brief recap, I'm really impressed with the information in here. And that's me basing it off of already owning a business and knowing what matters in terms of for your business and what needs to be planned for. So when I had a little look in here, I was reading each section going, yes, yes, yes. But what I'm gonna do so you can actually find out what's in here, 
I'm going to go through it with you and kind of talk about my thoughts on the specific sections. So let's just go ahead and open it up. This is all rose gold, sparkly rose gold, so you can kind of like shove it there. Love, actually I really appreciate this because there's nothing worse than a journal or a planner getting all dirty and kind of flimsy on those edges, so I really like that. Nice binder. And she's using the branding images, which is beautiful. So as we open it up, we've got a nice little envelope there and some more images. And I'm going to read out to you the different, the, all the little tabs, because I like that it's organized. So what we've got is contents, uh, business goals, marketing, social media, products, finances, stats, and extra. Oh, so exciting. <laughs> so let's just start in the content context contents section and she started off with her beautiful quote that I've quoted before for Angela but she says here I believe you can achieve anything if you set your mind to it you got this hashtag beauty boss and this planner belongs to I love that so it does have here a bit of a contents um, and as we walk through hopefully you can see it as I start to open um, my beauty business year so We've kind of got here a whole heap of contents that talk about um, what will be in here. So including a monthly overview, months, dreams and intentions, this week's plan, and then we've got a couple of those going down, a monthly planner, monthly tasks, this week's overview. Yeah, and it keeps going to do lists and business tasks. So let's just jump in. So we're going to start off with the monthly overview. Now, I'm not sure. I think these repeat as it goes through. Yeah, yeah. so I believe you can just pop whatever month you're up to. But in this section here, see if you can see, it might be a bit backwards. I love this. It's got your monthly overview. So it's got the section for a monthly focus, uh, write a section for important dates, key tasks, things from last month that you can kind of carry over, and habits to nurture. I really appreciate this. So I don't know if any of you have seen a habit tracker before, but this is probably one of my favorite things about this planet is this habits tracker because starting a new habit is really difficult. Um, I'm not going to lie. I have tried to start many over the years and I found that, you know, I need to take, I need to track it. Otherwise I won't reach my habit. So what she's done, you can actually tick it every day that you've done the habit. So I think that's really, really powerful and this is just like a monthly overview i think that's really important to stay on track so let's just say january <laughs> and as we move through we've got similar kind of sections for weekly overview weekly planner so it's kind of taking that bird's eye view of your business and seeing kind of popping down all those important facts and i think this is great and we continue with more overviews more planners yeah I see how this works. And then I, I'm assuming it'll come to another monthly overview. There we go. So I'd say there's enough pages for a full year. Yeah, that makes sense. There might be a little bit more. So it goes monthly overview, weekly overview, and then weekly planner. That's great. So moving forward, we've just got a lot of those pages here at the start. So this is essentially the planning stage, the planning part of the the diary so we'll keep moving through and just to show you as well guys it's really pretty <laughs> i love pink and rose gold so this is really exciting for me still some more habit trackers which is great and that's essentially the chunk of that first section and at the end yeah there we go this is what i was looking for just to yeah there we go i think this is really important and this is something I've done digitally for myself, but if you're more of a handwriting person, you might really appreciate this. Or it could be, uh, you know, you might have never done this before. So this is really important. I do this on Asana, um, but basically it's like daily tasks, weekly tasks, monthly, quarterly, and yearly tasks. So it's a good section to write those things down so you're aware of what you need to do repetitively. I do this digitally because... To be honest, I don't think there's enough space for me to fill this out and it to, yeah, I don't, I think I would have a little bit more tasks, but that's okay. It's a really good start. Moving forward. And then we've got a whole heap of to-do lists. So there's heaps of them, as you can see here. 
and to do list four is what it says and then the date so that's great I think that's really handy I don't do I don't write down to do lists in a formal place I usually write them on pieces of paper and then transfer them digitally but I still think it's really nice having them here beautiful so now we're on to the business section I love she's always got quotes throughout so focus on being productive instead of busy yeah <laughs> I agree I agree so what have we got here this is in the section called my monthly business foundation so oh and just to recap guys I think that's great the way she did that first part um, working through monthly, weekly overviews and then the weekly planner and then being able to put your own dates because maybe for one week or two weeks you don't use the planner so it doesn't kind of waste paper and you can use this however you like. You might not even want to use it one month, you might want to kind of come back. So I like the flexibility, I really do, I appreciate that. Alright, business foundation. So let's have a little read. This is what it looks like. So you would be putting in, yeah, that's right. I love this section. So it's all about writing down your business values. And this is so important. And it actually says this value number one, it's important because, and then you write down, it means to me. And then you write down, I'll implement it this way. So for me in my business, one of my top values um, is integrity and honesty. So when I am treating clients, it's because the way that this comes out is being integral in my um, words and always speaking truthfully and always uh, using evidence-based literature to back up what I'm saying about their skin or their bodies. So that's what I would fill in there saying it's important because um, and it means to me. And I think this is really important to know what your business stands for because if you don't know the values um, that your business stands for, it can be a little bit lost and people don't yeah connect with you angela says oh good morning i've missed 10 minutes hope you're all well and i'm excited to hear your feedback on the planner thank you angela yeah it's all real positive and i'm kind of going through all the sections and just kind of talking about what i love about them so i love the value section i think that's really important to start with that and if you don't have this for your beauty business nothing to worry about just start it and I think this is a great prompt so as we move forward all the beautiful foundations of a business so a brand vision it gives you a good section here what is the why behind your business and what is the long-term dream for your business also brand mission what is your business about who is it for how do you help them so important and these are things that I have in my business but they're not so clear so I'm definitely going to be using this planner to actually write them down and have them in a nice secure place so you could almost say this is like your business uh beauty business bible it's like you come back to this, this is like your central location um and as we keep going forward we have strengths and weaknesses hmm. that's that's probably really important to acknowledge i never thought about that yeah writing down what you're good at and what you're not and your unique selling proposition if you haven't heard of this before a USP you really need to know about this and it says a little prompt here saying how are your products and services different from your competitors and how do you provide produce and package those in a different way so that's really important and if you don't know this absolutely start writing your USP and here at the bottom implement and improve how you will implement strengths in your businesses and strengths and weaknesses in your business so beautiful my goodness, I could probably talk about this all day. <laughs> uh, we've got policies. Um, oops, I skipped a page. Oh, this one, this is my favorite. This is probably my favorite part of this whole foundation. So my ideal client, you gotta know this. And this was so helpful for me. Oh, I like, um, Angela's included. You can attach a photo of your ideal client. I think this is fun. It's all about creating a client avatar and really understanding who your ideal client is. And from my experience, it's really helped to give them a name and kind of imagine what they look like and talk about what they, where do they shop? <laughs> what do they watch, read and listen? What do they enjoy? So Angela's done a beautiful job of 
writing all of this down. Oh, I love it. Favorite websites, current goals, all for the ideal client. That's really inclusive. So then if you've got this written down, you can always come back. That's right. Susan is my ideal client, for example. <laughs> Mine's not Susan. <laughs> Her name is Katie, my ideal client. Um, let's see, the aesthetics and the branding. Cool, so the general aesthetics. So this is a really good section where you can put in your patterns, textures, typography, color palette, and like your keywords and sketches and doodles. So I do this digitally because that works for me because I sometimes when I'm developing, well, I'm still starting out in business, I'm pretty new. I've been changing and tweaking as I go, but this could be a really good starting point. I think it's really important to nut down, you know, what fonts you're gonna consistently use and what colors because it really creates a strong brand. So that's great. And then she's got the my policy, so terms of service. So again, I have most of these digitally, but it doesn't hurt to have them written down so you can just refer to them whenever. So that's awesome. Moving my business further is the next section. And we've got what actions do you need to take to move your business further? Awesome. When time is lacking, what will be your top three priorities? So that's really handy. Not something I thought of um, viewing it in that way, but I think that's great. Getting it out of your head and putting it onto paper can kind of reduce that overwhelm, or at least I've noticed that. And continuing on the same theme, we've got evaluation of my brand. Is your brand aligned to your business goals and the types of clients you want? So I guess this is like an overview of everything that's already been included. So this is great. It's all to do with branding and Oh, you know, creating a strong brand is key to having a successful business. So I'm loving that this is at the front of the beauty planner and it's not just about planning your week and putting busyness into your week. It's more about being really strategic, which is what we need as beauty business owners. So again, evaluation of systems. And if you don't have systems in place um, or if you haven't at least written your systems down, this would be a really good opportunity. This is more of an overview. Yep, an overview. But yeah, that's my tip to you. If you're a beauty business owner, start systemizing. It's so important. And when you do eventually want to hire someone, then at least you've got the systems in place. So my version of balance and success. I love this, Angela. <laughs> because we all have different versions of success and what success looks like to you will be so different to another person. So. That's beautiful. And it talks about work-life balance. Told you this was going to be all positive. <laughs> but at least you get a look inside so you know what to expect if you want to purchase this as well. Um, money markers. Hmm. Use this and the next worksheet if your business isn't new. Oh, yeah. How do you make money in your business? Evaluate your different offerings. Think about the income they brought and if you enjoyed them and ways to improve them. So I suppose I could use this for my business because I'm about a year and three months into it. So this would be really good. And it has things like, so it's, I guess it's just evaluating the certain product and service and I guess figuring out your profit margins. You know, it's more so about evaluating how good that uh, product or service is going. So that's great. And what worked well. So it's all about reflecting on what's working and what's not working in the business. Let's just have a look here. Give me one moment. Beautiful. So moving forward, we have the new product and service idea generator and picker. This is great. This is great because it'll, if you, oh gosh, if you have the tiny object syndrome, <laughs> shiny object syndrome, just like me, everything's all bright and colorful. This is a nice way to kind of nut out your ideas before implementing them. Something that I need to use. So that's really cool. This is all about planning. This is more than just an actual planner. This is planning with intention. Yeah, new product planner, new service planner, and I suppose if you wanted to do multiple of these, you could actually just copy the, essentially the content of it and then 
print it out um, or create it in a document. I actually think um, Angela Sanchez has a e has a digital version of this, so probably she has that available in there so you could print off multiple as you get more ideas. So that was my first thought, but that's totally cool that it's there. Cheerleaders in your business. Yeah, that's really, really empowering um, to write down who is supporting you and what they can help with because we have to really admit to ourselves as beauty business owners, we can only specialize in so many things. And I really had to realize this in business. You know, there's a certain amount of things I'm great at and it's usually around treatments and it's to do with the knowledge and to do with services. But there's so many things I just don't know. So this is great. You can start writing those things down. Who can help you? And this is that inspire me. So this isn't about competitiveness. This is about collaboration and really acknowledging and empowering the businesses around you that really inspire you. So that's awesome. You can write all of them down. So you have them all in one place instead of just liking them on Instagram and kind of forgetting about it. So that's really cool. Bucket list of my business. So hmm, that's really nice. So all the things you want to do and there's some deadlines. Dream collabs. Ah, yeah, I can see why Angela put this one in here because she talks a lot about uh, collaborating with the community and those around you. So she is a really nice example of collaborating in her beauty business with a local, um, there's a local cafe and how it brought more clientele and it just kind of created more community. So I can see why she's popped that in there. That's really powerful. Moving forward, notes and thoughts, make it happen. So I love that section. That was a really businessy section. And I might speed through as we go through the rest because I don't want to be here for a whole hour. <laughs> but essentially this next section is goals. So I'm assuming it's all about goals. So we've got here yeah, lots to do with marketing, products and services, business milestones. Wow, and she's got like this whole, um, I'll show you here. It's an urgency rating system. So urgency, importance, brings joy, and then you have the total rating. So that's really helpful. That's really helpful. Nice to focus on goals, extra optional goals. <laughs> this is really, this is really nice. We've got here yearly goals and habits. I should write all of this down because I've got a few of these kind of logged in my head. So I will definitely be writing mine down. And you, she's actually got the, the monthly sections, overcoming obstacles. I like that because it's preempting the things that could be happening. Beautiful. So you can kind of plan for obstacles. We have goals breakdown, an action planner. She really has gone above and beyond. Awesome. And I think it would, you know, this would be really nice to sit down. We've got quarterly goals. Beautiful. Planners and the overviews, which is so good. Beautiful. So it just keeps going. I think it would be really nice to, the most ideal way to do this, I think, would be with, if you know a couple of business owners in our industry and you all purchase this, I think it would be really beautiful Sunday afternoon catch up with herbal tea, with some snacks, and you all get your beauty business, um, beauty boss planners, and then you go through it and you start to, you know, have a really comfortable spot and start filling it out together. Or if you were by yourself, you could absolutely do that in the comfort of your home in some comfy pajamas. <laughs> but I can see this could be, it's not going to be quick to fill these things out. I think it all takes a lot of forethought and you know, good, good planning essentially and really thinking about what you write rather than just filling out the answers. So I think it would be nice to fill this out at a time where you're in a really good space, in a really good headspace and you have time off. She's also got a section for notes. Ah, I almost missed this section. The Pomodoro Planner. So this is like a um, productivity hack. I've seen this before. The time tracker, how are you spending your time, and the time log tracker. Oh, 
that's really cool. I really recommend that. I do time logs every now and then and whew, mind blown when you look back at your time. And it's like, okay, I don't need to be scrolling Instagram for 30 minutes at this time of the day. You pick up trends, so that's really cool. Just got a yearly review and reflection. That's something I do intuitively at the end of the year, but it's good that it's there right at the end of all the months. Oh, wow. So inclusive. This is definitely worth the money, I tell you that. So we've got a whole section on marketing now, marketing and strategy. And it actually gives you instructions on how to go through all of this. Email sales funnels, blog post series, roundup blog post planner. This is very cool. Very, very cool. Interview series. Oh, that's awesome. I should definitely be using that for the interview series I do here. This is great. Workshop series. I think this would be send a discount freebie or an opt-in. I'm going to read them out to you just to give you a bit of ideas and gathering testimonials, follow-up planner and tracker, online challenge, online challenge again. Let's see. Brand partnerships. 30 day challenge giveaways. This is so, so much social media content. Like I couldn't even implement all of that in a year. That's a lot of really cool social media uh, prompts on what to share. I know a lot of you who are in beauty businesses, you go, well, what am I meant to share? What do I talk about? Well, already I've just listed off to you a whole heap that require a lot of planning and are really fun and probably really engaging for your clientele. So that's awesome. <laughs> Angela says, I'm just loving the smile on your face when you are surprised and delighted with the pages. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, I've looked at this already and gone through all the emotions, but because there's so much, it's just exciting me again. So I'm looking forward to my beautiful Sunday evening where I start to fill all of this out. It'll be really fun. So yeah, it's so much, so much information on marketing. You know, you can't run out of inspiration. I really appreciate this. This is more than just planning. Oh, recruit influencers. Everybody asks about that. How do you get influencers to work for you in your business? There's literally instructions. Get published, how to become published in the local paper, local networking. This is cool. Very cool. A lot of these things I've known about personally, but there's a lot of information that's missing on how do you do this? So there is so much here. We've got Pinterest group boards. Ah, this is great. Online groups, Facebook ads. This is a really cool prompt to understand marketing before you've actually really delved into that, I think. So this would give you a bit. So if you were completely new to marketing and you know, you, you're even about to start a business, I think this would be um, a really good place to start because then you can really realize what it takes to be a beauty business owner and realize that there's just so much and so much inspiration as well. So it's not an overwhelming thing. It's like, you know what? It's all planned out. I think this would be awesome for all beauty business owners to just have on hand and start as their blueprint and then work from there. I wish I had this. I really wish I had this. Uh, yearly marketing. Yeah, all on marketing. It keeps going like amazing. Planning your marketing, notes and thoughts. Awesome. Moving on to the social media section. So she's got social media audit, social media planner. Beautiful. So it's planning your weeks out, monthly calendar. Yeah. This is amazing. And I just want to mention quickly on the whole thing about planning your social media. I used to be one of those people last year where I thought to myself in my beauty business, <laughs> I thought, you know, I'm really creative. I like to do things spontaneously and I don't want to plan because it'll keep me uh, kind of a bit stuck. And that was my perception. Now, what ended up happening last year, I had a lot of great content and I did a lot of good things in terms of social media in my business, but I was feeling this overwhelm. And sometimes I would get to a point in the week where I'm going, 
what am I sharing today? I'm not sure. And I would not share because I hadn't planned anything. And I thought that was fine, but I noticed there was a bit of heaviness and space and I would always be thinking, oh, coming up with new uh, ideas for social media. So what I went ahead and did on the Christmas breaks was actually plan out my content in my business till August um, for the Beauty Therapist of Australia group and the videos I share, I've planned it till June. And just by doing that, feels so good because I have it there and it's not as if I'm writing all the posts out that would take forever but I'm basically setting a theme so I love that she's got that section in here and I can tell you I'm not feeling so overwhelmed I know that my plan is set out and I have themes and because I've planned it out it makes sense for my business so I do skin so I'm talking about topics in orders that make sense to the viewer so it's almost like a curriculum and uh, yeah it's been successful thus far instead of being kind of random like this week we're talking about pimples this week we're talking about pigmentation you know you want to kind of keep it all together like sun and then pigmentation just for example awesome let's keep moving forward just got a whole section for products new products brainstorming general marketing campaign ah that's cool having a marketing campaign for the new product mm. photo shoot planner and there's a section for return products so that's really important to note that because if you're getting if you're not tracking that you know you need to you need to track that because there's an, a reason why someone's returning it and you, you want to pick up these trends so so many trackers freebies tracker great we're going to move forward to finances the section that no one wants to talk about <laughs> i can understand why money can be a funny topic but it can really be a beautiful thing money is really is an amazing tool and that's what we have to remember we don't want to put emotion towards money we want to it to be a neutral thing it's a tool to get you to do good things in the world to get you to the next goal it's to help you live and survive so money is neutral <laughs> so we've got a whole section on finances and just being really quick about it We've got income and sales, planning overview, also the big section actually. Monthly finance, yearly, monthly. Oh yeah, so tracking it all. I love that, yep. I prefer to do this digitally in my, I see, yeah, all monthly, monthly recurring expenses. I'll definitely use that to write them all down. I do all this digitally. And I guess that's only because I never really had a central location. So I have it all in my Google Docs. Um, but I use an accounting software that tracks all my expenditures. Um, I use Xero, if that's of any interest to you, X-E-R-O. And it basically connects with your bank account feed and you just kind of categorize them. So this is like a pen and paper way to do it if you are really just starting out because it does cost money to invest into those programs. Savings tracker, yes, got to be saving. Even if you're only earning a small amount, you have to save 10%. That's, that's the minimum. 30 days of saving challenge, yearly finances. Cool. So, so just some really cool prompts to get you thinking. Lovely. Stats. Monthly stats. What have we got? We're getting to the end, so everything's getting a little bit kind of hard to do the pages. Beautiful. So this is basically a tracker. Again, Track everything. Track how many people you're getting through Facebook, through phone calls, uh, where are they coming from, who's referring them, all of these things. So beautiful. So she's got here month of, and then you write the month. So visits, orders, favorites, shop followers, revenue, and total views. So these are things that you can find on social media, like newsletter subscribers, Facebook, so follow accounts. So you could literally come in here once a month and just fill it all out. So it's all in a one spot. You've got your stats for your yearly overview for things like newsletter, Instagram, Pinterest. Lovely, lovely. All I can say about that is, yeah, tracking is really important. And then right at the end, we have extras. Create a selfie station within your business. That's a good tip. 
Never thought to do that. That's cool. Account details. Oh, this is really important information like your username, email, password. I should probably start writing those things down. <laughs> um, in case of emergency contacts, great. You would want to keep this safe if you're going to put your passwords in here because it is your livelihood. Um, so you would want to kind of guard this with your life. But it's got your emergency contacts, um, including like the police uh, fire department so that's really good it's all in one spot suppliers info and contacts so if you're a business that has several suppliers I don't I have one um, but I can see this could be really helpful then you don't have kind of sorry I have two suppliers but oh, I have a couple actually now that I think about it at least three to four so maybe I should start writing them down <laughs> yeah for sure absolutely Birthday tracker, you could use that however you want. Notes, thoughts, passwords, and you are enough. So that is the look inside. It's really pretty. Lots of pink, lots of gold, lots of white. Let me just change this over. And it's this size, so it's not, it's like an A5 size. So you've had a little look inside. I'm going to put it back into the box. I think that's preferably where I would like to keep it because for me, when it comes to journals and planners, I get really funny about when they get dirty. I don't know if you're the same, but you know when something gets dirty and used, I mean, it's a good sign because you're using it, but to me, it makes me a little bit off put. So I'm actually going to keep mine in the box and the box is pretty, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> And that's what it looks like. So I'm going to keep it in there. And what are my real thoughts on this? I think you've definitely, you know, heard my thoughts as I've jumped through this. Oh, it's, it's a lot. It's so much. I think for the price that you pay, you're not just getting a planner. You know, say if you go to Kiki K or Typo or whatnot, you're paying for a generic, usually quite generic planners. And although they're pretty amazing and don't get me wrong uh, they're around this price or higher um, so what you actually get in here is more than just a planner but you're getting literally business strategy ideas and things that relate specifically to the beauty industry so I love that she's done that because it's you know if you if you can't afford right now to get a coach to get a business coach I should say um, or help in your business like just starting with this would be a really good place to start. And I can imagine this isn't just Australian beauty therapists. This is everyone in the world this is applicable to. If you can read English, <laughs> I'd say you could use this. So I thought I don't have anything negative to say. I love the color of this pen. I personally wouldn't use it because I'm fussy with pens. <laughs> I have one pen that I use over and over again but like I have multiple of them. So I think this is a pretty pen and it says hashtag beauty boss. So perhaps it could serve as a bit of a reminder. Like you look in your pen drawer and you're like, yeah, I'm a beauty boss. <laughs> so that's really cute. And I just, I don't have anything negative other than if I was to be super, super picky, there was a couple of the images on the pages that were slightly pixelated, slightly. And I had to look closely to see that and that doesn't matter. It's not going to affect anything slightly, but it's nothing bad. And maybe that's just the graphic style, actually. I think it's just that first one. It is just the first one there. And maybe that's the style of illustration. So that's the only thing that really came up. I like that these tags, they're durable, has the durable bit there. I like when things are a binder as well. It's a good size, so it's not too heavy. That's really it, guys. I really appreciate you sitting with me and listening to my review, and I hope this has been helpful for you if you're trying to make a decision as to whether to purchase this or not. And um, I'm sure Angela correct me if I am wrong um, in the comment section, but she does have the digital version i'm not sure if it's exactly the same but you could always check that out if a physical one is not for you uh, but i think this is a really cool starting point and what i will be doing 
for this. I will absolutely be sitting down probably around the end of the month on a Sunday in my pajamas with some herbal tea <laughs> and some snacks and probably next to my vision board filling all of this out and then anything that I think is really important that I need to see um, perhaps on my computer um, just to make things easier I'll probably transfer it to a digital way because I find um, yeah I, I like things to be digital that's just the way I go about it so I probably use this as my hub so this will be my central location and I'll probably from there create digital sections on my Google Drive so thank you so much for watching I've enjoyed this so much and I'd love to do more review videos like this I have um, the Robin McAlpine Skin Side Out that I'd love to do a review on and I was also thinking maybe you guys might like to see some videos on how to make these beautiful essential oil roller bottles. This is one that I made and I'm giving to my clients. This is rose quartz crystals, oils, rose petals. It's so beautiful. So do you want videos like that as well? Let me know. But Angela says, this has been beautiful. Thank you so much, Kathleen. You're welcome. I wish I could give you some better critique, <laughs> but it's just, it's a really nice planner. It's really nice. So thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you go out and purchase this. Honestly, I'm sure it will change your business. Get pen to paper because it creates stronger neural connections when you're doing this rather than onto the computer. So that's why I'm really excited to kind of make my digital world match my you know, handwriting and then just solidifying everything in my business. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you want more reviews just like this. I'd be happy to do them. And I really appreciate you for tuning in. Comment below if you're watching on YouTube. Um, and I just appreciate you being here. If you're in Australia and you are a beauty therapist, come and join the Beauty Therapists of Australia Facebook group where we are educating, we're talking about education, networking, and everything to do with the industry. So come and join, it's free. And then Angela says, right before I'm about to go, now it's time for all the beauty bosses to take inspired action. Absolutely, and very inspired. Action is coming. <laughs> all right, thank you so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.